Alright guys, this video's been going viral. Asbestos Hell's Hair, so let's check it out. Asbestos, if you're born- I don't understand, bro. I don't think it has to do with anything with hair. You know what I mean? It's a poison. Chemical poison. Right, guys? Before the 80s, you knew about asbestos because it was everywhere. If you're born- Uh... Born later than that, you know about it because if you were a loved one was exposed to it and have mesothelioma. Yeah, that's a right. That's the asbestos we're talking about, bro. <laughs> this this is everywhere where I lived, guys. You should call a lawyer today. I'm going to tell you what it is, what it does, what its history is, and what its present is. Yeah, bro. So this is gonna be a hot, quickly paced video, right, guys? What is a asbestos? It's a very dangerous poison, right guys? Let's start off with what asbestos actually is. I wouldn't blame if you thought asbestos was some sort of crazy man-made chemical. But it's actually- Dude, don't be- Homer, what are you doing, bro? Homer. Homer Simpsons, man. Sorry, I just wanted to use my touchscreen for a second. It's actually a readily available mineral. It's just in the ground. Asbestos- Readily available. This is what's called a silicate, meaning it's made of silicon and oxygen. Some other silicates you might have heard of are sand, cement, Technically glass. What the heck? And talc. Okay, yeah. Uh, glass is not ingestible, right? I don't think it's uh, edible. You might have actually seen talc in the news recently because there's been a lot of lawsuits regarding baby powder causing cancer. The reason for this is talc and asbestos often occur together. As Guys, what is talc? Talc. Oh, it says talc. It's very hard. Talc, rather. Sorry. Keep the asbestos out of the talcum powder. What makes asbestos differ from these other silicates? <laughs> So, is the form it takes. I said, uh, you're, you're asbestos, I guess? I, I don't understand. What, uh, it's a mineral. It looks like a fo like one of those uh, fossils you buy at the store, bro. That's asbestos? What is... See, instead of being a little round thing like sand, it comes out in a shape that reminds me of the natural socks that hobbits come with. There are <laughs> six main kinds of asbestos chrysotile actinolite amosite anthophyllite crocidolite it looks so different bro it looks like fuzzy it's like fuzzy stuff bro but this is and tremolite that, that's why that's why it's called hell's hair bro chrysotile is the most common asbestos in the u.s but... so that's actually poison bro it looks like bird feathers bro Looks like it'd be, you know, not that poisonous. About 90% of what is found in buildings is chrysotile. It's also known as white asbestos. Crocidolite, also known as blue asbestos, was very commonly used as well. This looks like a painting. Are you sure that's asbestos? Guys, doesn't it look like that one guy's painting? The Van Gogh or whatever his name is? The one that made, a, like, a dots and stuff? What is this, dog? <laughs> it's very common in Australia. In fact, Australia has its own Chernobyl called Wittenoom, and it's because of asbestos. Gosh, they, asbestos fibers might be airborne. They're a serious health hazard. Wow. And they're increased by vehicular human and animal movements, bro. What the heck? Wittenum was a How are the animals surviving there then? Pretty large asbestos mining operation because it has a lot of it just naturally in the ground there. In fact, in the what they're mining it. In the area, you can often see just blue patches of ground or stones, and it's just asbestos. In 2022, the last resident of Wittenoom was evicted by the government. The area is now covered in warning signs warning about the dangers of the asbestos, but apparently you can still often find people sneaking into it to take pictures for Instagram. As long as you don't eat it, right? And then it's good? Guys, I would never camp on my... Actually, maybe I would camp on my... On... In the top of your car, bro. But what if you fall off accidentally, man? I'd rather camp on the floor, bro. Asbestos isn't toxic in the same way as like rattlesnake poison, cyanide, Rainbow Six Siege lobbies. <laughs> Guys. Or anything like that. Rainbow Six is a cool game where you can like cut holes and stuff, bro. Like the wall. <laughs> Just like asbestos. The danger in asbestos is that little I don't know. fibers can break off and then they'll go in your lungs and then the fibers wedge themselves into the tissue of your lungs. And because they're essentially glass, they never decompose. They just stay in there like they pay rent. We're not sure. No, bro. It's a permanent resonant. What the coins you find randomly in between the couch are actually spiders trying to pay rent. No, no, no. The exact way. 
I'm so poor, I don't even find coins. They cause cancer, but there are three leading theories. The first theory is that the fibers are actually small enough that they can go in and actually damage the individual strands of DNA. Just all bad, all bad. Nobody wants damaged DNA, right guys? Tapping it. Then this damaged DNA replicates itself and becomes cancer. The second theory is that these fibers somehow become a catalyst to create what are called reactive oxygen species. These are oxygen-based chemicals that can cause various kinds of- Guys, I've heard that quite a bit. Reactive oxygen species. DNA damage, which can lead to cancer. The most common of these is peroxide. The last theory is that as the fibers sit in your- Wait, like hydrogen peroxide? What the heck? Your lungs? They're constantly causing damage. They're just tearing up your lungs like those coconut crabs tore up Amelia Earhart. And as this constantly causes- Wait, what? I don't remember that happening. Cell destruction and inflammation. I don't know who that is though, so. And over time, it increases the chance of a cancerous cell being created. Dude, look at that painting, man. That's such a cool painting, not gonna lie. That's one of the coolest paintings I've seen, bro. Why is there so much paintings in that room? People have been making the painting of a room of paintings. And stuff out of asbestos about as long as they've been making stuff. In fact, we have found clay pots with asbestos in them that were finished in Finland 4,500 years ago. Having asbestos in the pots would have been used. And it seems to be everywhere, guys. There's probably some in, like, uh, small traces in my lung or something, man. That's scary. Useful because the asbestos fibers kind of hold the ceramic together and make it stronger. We do something similar to this in modern times. We put fiberglass around brick buildings to keep it from falling over in earthquakes. Asbestos cloth was used by many ancient civilizations. We have accounts of it being used in Egypt, Greece, Rome, China, Persia, and India. It had a couple main uses back then. An interesting use for it was it was often used in temples and tombs because they would put it in the wicks of the lanterns and then they could just keep filling it with oil and the wick would never die. It was also used for like fancy ceremonial dress or like the good tablecloths that a king would have. Same bro. So th th this poison has so many practical uses bro. So but that's scary man. Like what if like how, how how fast would it like finish you off bro? That's the question. All these kings including Charlemagne would wait for the tablecloths and napkins to get dirty at official functions and then throw them in the fire and like freak everyone out and then pull them out and they're clean. Maybe Charlemagne continuously showing his Dang bro, what the heck? Guess how cool it is to burn things. It's part of why the people who now live in his former empire just love burning things in the streets. Another interesting use for this asbestos cloth is that they would put kings inside asbestos funeral shrouds and then cremate them and it would keep the king's ashes in the shroud away from the wood ash. If you want to experience something interesting, interesting. Something similar at home, take a banana still in its peel and make a slit in it kind of like a hot dog bun. Then you can stuff that slit with like chocolate, marshmallows, nuts, and candy. Then wrap the entire banana in aluminum foil and then you can put it next to like a campfire or on the grill or in the oven until it gets all warm and gooey inside. And then you have- But why, bro? The banana boat, which is a lovely dessert, and when you eat it, you can think about eating a dead king. Famed pool game inventor- Mar Guys, uh <laughs> That makes no sense. Marco Polo also gave accounts of seeing asbestos mines in his travels in Asia. The interesting thing is- Guys, that was- I thought he was gonna like make ex asbestos that's how you make it or something, but I was like, okay. That at this time, it was already known that asbestos wasn't necessarily good to breathe in. We don't have the actual source material, but we do think either Pliny the Elder or Pliny the Younger described. Yeah, this this is this scares me because I, I actually have like a asthma, man. I like lung. I have lung issues, bro. The fact that the asbestos miners in the empire would get lung issues. Apparently, we don't know which one said this though, because we just have it referenced in other books from near the time, but we don't have the original book. Okay, that is a sound I have not heard heard in a while, bro. Asbestos didn't really hit its heyday though till the Industrial Revolution. Asbestos became a very big deal at this time, partially because mining equipment was created that allowed it to be extracted quicker, and also the fact that big factories became a thing and their equipment needed fireproof insulation. This led to asbestos becoming very big business. This led to the creation of huge asbestos mines in different places in the world, including Italy, Quebec, Staten Island, South Africa. So they, so they, so they wear like a... Face mask or something, right, guys? Cut in the before mentioned Australia. Asbestos ended up being used in quite a few things. Some you could probably name off the top of your head. Some are a little weirder. Some of the things you might guess is it was used in things like floor tile. It was used in fireproof doors. As I have, like all my all my tiles are floors, guys. Like all my tiles are like 
tiles on it. Like, I, we have tiles across the entire house. It was used in the fire suits that, like, firemen and race car drivers use. It was used to make the curtains at theaters because there's a lot of issues with those catching on fire and killing everyone in the building. Also, famously, asbestos was used in brake pads until quite recently. It was also used in some things you wouldn't think of, like making dental casts. Heck. Dental cast? Or filtering wine. Or making gas mask filters. Also famously, there was a company called Kent that had their Micronite line of cigarettes. These were cigarettes that their filter was filled with blue asbestos and crepe paper. And guys, so, oh my gosh, dude, what the? So they were actively inhaling it then, right, guys? They had to change it what was going on then right the world of rpgs this is called stacking debuffs a big building material that this oh, definitely man. was used for a lot was they would mix the asbestos with concrete and use it to make like panels for the outsides of houses the trade name for this product was fiberlite which kind of sounds like it'd make you poop better these were used a lot especially post-world war ii in places where they needed to rebuild buildings quickly you can actually still find some of these little temporary houses in parts of europe especially Oh, this looks like such a cool little house, man. Especially England, that they made and they don't really know what to do with now because they're made of asbestos. Oh yeah, can't really live in those. Another place it was common was in Australia, and Queensland actually has a special law that you cannot pressure wash these houses because it'll spread the asbestos. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Asbestos started to be banned or at least heavily regulated in the 80s and 90s by most countries. Currently, 66 countries have completely- And it took them that long to outlaw it, guys. Complete bans on asbestos. The EPA tried to completely ban asbestos in the US in 1991 with the asbestos ban and phase out rule. Unfortunately, a complete ban was struck down by the courts in the ruling Corrosion Proof Fittings versus the Environmental Protection Agency. They were able to ban it in the use of corrugated paper, rolled board, commercial paper, specialty paper, and flooring felt. They were also able to ban any new use of asbestos. Then we just use it because it was cheap and easy to get. The, 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 the pursuit of profit, it, it hurts us, right guys? This is a direct example of it. The Clean Air Act also banned asbestos pipe insulation, asbestos block insulation on components like boilers, water tanks, and spray applied surfacing asbestos containing materials. The consumer product safety. They, they were in like, like bug sprays and stuff, man. The act bans asbestos in artificial fireplace embers and wall patching compounds. Guys, I actually have that brand of wall patching. Compound. Also, the FDA has largely gotten asbestos out of pharmaceuticals and food. The most common uses for asbestos in the U.S. today are automobile clutches, brake pads, corrugated sheeting, imported cement pipe, and roofing materials and vinyl tile. Still, there are a few countries that still heavily mine asbestos. 53% of new asbestos mined is mined in Russia, followed by Kazakhstan with 16%. Russia, man, Russia. China with 15%, and Brazil with 11.5%. About 70% of actual products being made out of asbestos are made in Asia. The largest producers being China, India, and Indonesia. Guys. <laughs> And of course, China's making like everything nowadays, right guys? At this point, you may be wondering, well, what do we do with all this asbestos? In most places, asbestos is dealt with by just kind of putting it in containers that are airtight and then burying it in special landfills that are marked off that it has this. There are actually, though, a few ways to permanently dispose of asbestos by turning it into other things. If you remember from the- Oh snap, chemistry for the win! Beginning of the video, asbestos is just a kind of silica. So there's a few ways that we can melt it down so that it is no longer in fibrous form so that it is not dangerous. If you get it above about 1000 Celsius or 1800 Fahrenheit, yeah, it's not that. It does... It'll just kind of melt into other kinds of silica. And if you get it above 1250 Celsius or 2300 Fahrenheit, it'll become a silicate glass. Also, if you take some asbestos and fire very strong microwaves at it, you can turn it into various kinds of ceramic and porcelain. Also, if you put it in a Dang, bro, chemistry for the wind. You could just morph it like magic into something else. Oxalic acid and hit it with some ultrasounds, it'll just kind of dissolve. So if you find something made out of asbestos, the best thing you do is in the US, you can call the EPA. In other countries, I'm sure you have something similar and they will be able to instruct you on how best to get rid of it. Try to not move it and don't let anything scrape it because you don't want those fibers getting into the air. I hope you found this informative and entertaining. And just remember, asbestos is not the bestest. Dang, bro. After that long, bro, after that long. It was also used to make fake snow, used for many, mostly for Christmas decorations. That snow scene in Original Wizard of Oz, it was all asbestos. 
In the medieval Europe, there was a short-lived fad of owning clothes made of salamander fur, in quotations, made completely of asbestos. They are bright white furry and totally fireproof. 1993. My mom decorated the house for Christmas using stuff she got at the dollar store. One of these items was la labeled angel hair and came in a package of, similar to tree tinsel and looked absolutely beautiful glowing in the candlelight but we noticed, we noticed after playing with it our hands were would be raw and bloody it would last for days and we could feel little prickles underneath our skin after a, a, a week she tore it all down threw it all out no wonders today if it was asbestos they're decking the halls with i looked it up and apparently it wasn't asbestos but spun glass and that had already been discontinued for a decade before we bought it at the sketch dollar store. As an Australian citizen, I was, the mouse I was raised in a reappropriated shed made out of asbestos parents. So, so sort of like, yeah, don't go punching holes in the wall and you'll be right. <laughs> we described how the bad the asbestos problem is in Australia. Almost every trade now these, these days runs into it weekly. Dang, bro. Seems all of us have a... Okay, so we can't even survive this random, like, chemical? Maybe in the future. But yeah, guys, that's our video. I'll link it below if you want to read more comments. See you guys next one. I'll check out original creator description. I do all my reactions live on Twitch. So, you know. Maybe consider donating, subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.